Drugs get into jails. Not new, not a surprise. Deputies report increasing overdoses on the inside around the metro area lately. On a single day last year, three women locked up in Adams County OD'd on fentanyl pills. A warning, 9 News reporter Kelly Rinke's story here includes body camera video of that day when all three women survived. Uh, OD, not breathing. It happened in minutes. Medics rushed inside Adams County Jail for an inmate who overdosed. How old is she? As they started giving her Narcan, yeah, who's this for? two more inmates began overdosing too. Who else took something in here? Is everyone in here feeling okay and not feeling sick at all? Deputies say at least three women had taken fentanyl. All three survived. They eventually arrested a fourth inmate for passing out the pills. What we're seeing out in public and on, on the streets, we're also seeing inside of our, our detention facility. So it's in a very intense and stressful situation, just period, when you're seeing people go down, you know, not really sure what's going on. Calls like this are happening more often in county jails. Deputies in Jeffco saw at least 43 overdoses last year, up from 28 in 2022. In Arapahoe County, 13 in 2023, more than double the year before. The women in Adams County Jail were part of the 50 inmates who overdosed last year. From what we're seeing is Honestly, our, our staff inside the jail are using it as much, if not more, than a lot of our deputies out in the community. The inmates suspected of sneaking in fentanyl hid it during booking. They, they hide it on their person somehow. And so in the last handful of years, we've actually gone from just traditional uh, pat down searches to now we have advanced screening uh, equipment that does a full body scan. Fentanyl still finds its way inside the jail like it did on this one day in August. They all survived the incident, which is pretty impressive considering it looked very dire for, for a short time there. Adams County says they've also stopped attempts to smuggle in drugs through the mail. Oftentimes narcotics are infused in the ink on the paper or hidden in the seams of envelopes, Kyle. The old school techniques. That is absolutely wild to hear that Adams County might be using Narcan as much on the inside yep. than their patrol deputies. And it's not just the deputies who are equipped with Narcan. They're even uh, training their mail technicians to try to figure out ways how they can inspect this mail before it's transported to an inmate um, to hopefully stop overdoses from happening in the future. Kelly Rinke, thank you.